Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm back in here working on everything. Guess what I found today? I found some Fimo leather. Sorry, I just grabbed a, a sip of tea really quick. Um, I want to make some of those headbands with the leather. So I did want to show you something really quick, and I'm not even prepared for this. So let me hit pause and I'll go grab the sticks. Okay. So I found three different kinds, and I did link them all in my Amazon store. There's one more that's coming in the mail today. So this one was a pack of 50, and I think it was $11.99. To me, that is so cool. That's a really good price. So I bought 50 with holes in it. They're not the greatest holes, so you can hang something off. 50 without the holes. I'm going to lift you up a little bit here. And the ones that I ordered the other day were 10 for $6.99. So a lot more expensive, actually. But you may not be able to see it, but this diameter is a millimeter smaller. So these are 5 millimeters compared to the 6. So I've made a couple more of them, but I wanted to show you the difference. And hopefully I don't get them confused. Those are the three. Okay, so these were the six millimeter. And you know how, and now of course, that I'm not having any problems getting them in and out. So that was that first one we made. And this was this one with the resin. So it goes in pretty tight. I don't know if that's good or bad. But if you take the five millimeter ones, look at that. It's a tight fit, but they go in and out so much easier. So get the six millimeter if you want. But if you don't want them as thick as those, go for the six millimeter. I'm sorry, get the five ones over the six. Okay, the other thing that I did, these are the small ones. I got to make sure that I put them back in there because they're really tough to see. We went ahead and made these a little bit bigger. So I had them at a three and a half inch. I still have them at a three and a half inch. But I also made four inches. And you know what? It's not much of a difference when they're folded in. These are really, really nice. And I know somebody wants me to make five, six, and seven inches. So I'm going to try and get that done this week. But I also made the holes a little bit bigger. Um, I think these are... It's, like a, it's less than half an inch. It's like 0.4 um, so it's not huge hole, but I also separate them and put them a little closer to the edges and that seems to have worked quite well. So we have the four inch and we have the three and a half inch right here. So you'll see the difference. There's really not a whole lot of difference. So I've got those on my site. And so the other hair sticks that I ordered were gold and silver because some of these like this, the brown looks fantastic with. Um, some of these I think that I've made, like I made one with flowers just to use it up. I did so much practicing this weekend. This was kind of the same one. I laid it down flat to see if that would help. No, make sure you go around a curved edge a lot easier. But yeah, I don't know where it is, but I made one with flowers and, um, it just doesn't look good with the brown stick. So I bought some gold and I bought some silver. They were supposed to have been here the other day. They weren't. They should be here um, today. So I'll tell you how those work out. And those are just gold and silver plate. So back to here. Um, um, yeah, I'm going to use female leather and I'm going to use one of my rollers to make a really nice design. And that's it. I'm just going to make it a straight leather one. No painting, no nothing, just a, a little nice design on it. I think that'll look really good. So I'm in here making flowers. Um, I don't know what's up, but my clay is so soft. And that's what happened when I made my flowers the last time. It turned out horrible because my clay was so soft. But I opened up my drawer and I found a bunch of yellow. I found zinc. I found sunshine. And I just got such a mess because when I'm done in here, I'll put them back in their paper and I'll put them in the drawer next to me. And it's getting so full and there's like five open packages of the same color in there. So I thought today, okay, be good. 
and just start going through all your colors and start making Skinner blends with everything for future projects. So we are going to make a different flower today, not the one that I made before because of the fact that the clay is so soft. So I have a basically a cad yellow with white. That's going to be the base of our flower. I took some orange and added it with the yellow. And I have some straight orange. And we're going to do this now really quick. We're just going to make a bullseye cane. God, it was just something about... I love lemon yellow. A cad yellow, it's just got a weird... I don't know. It's just got a weird tint to it. And I love yellow. It's my favorite color, but... There's something about cad yellow straight that I don't like. But I think once it goes into the flower, it'll look good. And I struggled figuring out what colors to use today. I started using purple. And of course, I was going to do purple and turquoise because that's what I do. And then I thought, oh, that might be a little... Oh, you know what? I thought it would be a little too dark, but I'll guarantee it's not because I was going to mix it with white. So I may end up having to make that. I've got all this purple cut out. But look at it. It's just sticky and it's, it's just gross. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with our weather. So we're going to start with this one first anyways, and then we'll go and do the purple later. Okay, so there is orange. I don't know if this will fit. Nope. And then on this one, I think I already said I added orange to the yellow to give it a little bit of a darker yellow. It kind of looks peach, which is pretty. I was thinking of doing it as a Skinner blend, and then I thought, no, nah, we're just going to do a bullseye on this one. I want to see how it looks anyways. It's a quiet Sunday. Everybody's out riding off-road vehicles or motorcycles. So I got a little bit of a break. Dogs are snoozing right by me, so hopefully they won't bark until the Amazon guy gets here. All right, so now we got that. And now we're going to add some white around that. And then I will hit pause as I turn this into a Skinner blend. White after using yellow makes such a mess. It's a good way to clean out your white in your pasta machine is do that one last. Because it won't hurt it if it picks up all the yellow. And I actually cleaned my blades before I started. Boy, it was bad. Okay, so that's not quite enough. So, I'm going to fold it like that. Instead, we'll go straight down. These are just going to be little, I don't know, little seedlings maybe inside. Just spotted. It's going to be a spotted flower. Not really worried about the ends because I end up cutting those off anyway. So, okay. We are going to reduce this. And we're going to go ahead and make a Skinner blend out of that. And we will be right back. So, see you in a bit. Alrighty, so we have our Skinner blend here. And on this, we're just going to make a normal flower. So we're going to run it through. I don't know, it's pretty big. So I may just run it through. Oh, we'll just go to a number three. Get a nice little stretch on this. Hmm. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. All right, it's pretty long. So that is at a number three. Okay. And now 
we're going to do the fun stuff. And then I'll be able to figure out how small I need to make those little, this little thing. Because this is going to go in between it. I gotta get rid of all this extra color. So this could go back in the drawer. Sometimes my workbench just after one session is just absolutely filthy. And I'll spend all day and clean it up and all it takes is one project and it's back to that. I see all these people and they work on these beautiful clean work services and I can't figure out how they do that. I am not that, <laughs> I'm not that good. Alright, so there is our flower cane. So what we're going to do, obviously, is we're going to turn this into a triangle. And I'm going to try and squish it down just a little bit. So now we just want to round this out. And yes, that is an air bubble, a nice big one. So just going to push them out towards the ends here. Okay, that one does not want to break. Okay. And as you can see what I was saying about it being so soft, that's the only downfall I have with this, is the white is just crazy soft. So I will probably leach this for just a little bit when I'm done with it. So, let's do that a little bit more. Okay. And then we're going to come here and just give us a nice little pointy edge. Okay. So, there is our flower cane. So what I want to do now is I want to cut about four to five strips. So maybe down there, uh, we might only be able to go three. Unless we widen it just a little bit. Okay, so we need to go really small with these. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this to probably... Probably half an inch, maybe a little bit smaller. So once I get down to there, I will be right back. Okay, so we got about 13, about 13 inches here. It's probably going to end up being our center flower too. So I'm going to make one of these kind of big and I'm going to go one and a half. These are about one and a quarter. And it might be too big. But we're going to start here and then we'll shrink them down if we have to. I don't care for this little spot right there. Hopefully I'm going to get about nine out of this. So there's two, four, six, seven. Eight, nine. So hopefully that should be enough. Okay, so I'm going to get this nice and even here. Yeah, and if we only get three out of it, we only get three. So we're going to start about right here. Actually, 
to make it easy on everybody and me, let's cut it all the way down. Okay. doesn't really matter if it's perfect because we're going to be cutting these in half anyways. Okay, so that's where we got to start is right there. Okay, and we're going to put one of these about right there. So I'm going to cut this right here. Put that in there that right there this is the fun part of putting them wherever you want hmm I think I want I want to get three so I may go a little higher here and these might be a lot bigger than I need so I may have to cut these up just a little bit. Okay, so there's two. That's going to be three. All right, so now we have to cut this off. All the excess. And let's just see how that's going to look. The difference between the bullseye and regular is it just makes it a little more blending in, which it's not doing right now. So I'm just going to grab a paintbrush here. That way we can lay that in. And we're going to make one right there. One right there, and one right there. Okay. So, go like this. Yeah, I'm going to make a mess of this flower. It's going to be so misshapen, but that's kind of what we want. We want nice little squiggly lines, so hopefully, hopefully it all turns out the way we've seen it. I don't know. I don't really like that center flower, but or the centerpiece, but it is what it is. So now I'm going to come right here. Oh, and I'm going to try and get this to go straight down. Might only need about eight of these instead of the nine. I don't know if I'm going to get all three on the second row. Okay, so we started from there. So I'd like to put that one up there. So we're going to cut that right there. And we might as well do this now. Okay, that was not supposed to be the same height as that. That was supposed to be up a little higher. So I don't know how I managed that. I'm going to take one of the smaller ones. Okay, so now we're going to put that back in there. 
Okay, and I want the other one to go right here. I will be lucky if any of this orange doesn't stick. We want this one right here, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to put that one right here. Okay, so now we have that one. I don't know why this one got so squished, but it's pretty squishy now. So I want to put there, there, and there. And that one goes right there. And the other one right there. And I want to try and get one more now. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll do one there and there. We'll just do two on this one. Because it doesn't look like I'm going to get lucky to get three in there. Okay. So we're going to go right there. I'm going to go right here, and where else was I going to go? Right there. And if we're lucky, oh no, because then it'll be, that's okay. If I can get all three of those in there, I will. Okay, so there's one, two... And three. And we'll go a little deeper here. Now we got to get this to fit. Oh, that's the reason I did that, wasn't it? Okay. So we're going to have to take that guy out. And that's where we're going to want it. So I want right there and right there. I made it really close to the edge, as you can see. I think it's right there. There's not much to really grab right there. But hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Okay. So now we're going to wrap this entire petal with this orange, I think. So we're going to try and get it back in a shape here. And we're going to just reduce it a little bit. It'll look better as we reduce it. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover this. I might have to make a little bit more of this orange, so I will be right back when I finish making more. Alright guys, so I have my petal now. We are all wrapped up. And now comes the horrible task of reducing this. And I need eight, or no, I need six six or seven petals to finish this we're at two so i am going to go reduce this and fill up my hot tea 
to keep going and I will be back as soon as we're done. Okay, so all I need is ten and a half. So I have a little bit of cane that I kind of need to get rid of on the ends as you can see here. So I'm trying to round out the edges as best as I can. And obviously you want to make this as even as you can. So I'm thinking about right there. Actually, we got a lot more. And that's why you need to go a little farther than what you're intending to do because there's going to be a lot of waste and we aren't even there yet. Alright, so now we got all our dots and they are all over the place which is what we expected them to do. So I just need to just cut this a little more. It happens when I cut it right there. Alright, so we got all our flowers. And it does look a bit funky, but I think once we put it together, it's going to look really cool. I'm hoping. So we're doing one and a half. And that's six. I wanted to make that for something else. Okay, so here's our spotted flowers. And I just got to think of how I want to put these together. And what I'm going to do for the center, I did make a little bit more of this. I think I'm going to wrap it with this. I'm going to do that in a number three. So if you can reduce in a cylinder shape over a triangle shape, do that first. I have a hard time keeping the shape when it's triangle, just to keep these top ones round. But if you do it where it's a cylinder after you cut your petals you can shape them all right so all that is sitting perfect there one two three four five six hmm okay so obviously we're gonna have to go down more unless i use this and i could what do you think should i just make the seven flowers I mean, it's cute, or I continue and just make it six. And all I have to do is basically just make that centerpiece smaller and I'll be fine. But I wanted to try something with this piece. All right, so I'm just gonna make it the six that I had planned. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to go all seven. <laughs> I keep training in my mind, I know. But I have an idea. And I think I can use something else to do that. And again, I've got enough clay to make a whole bunch more, right? So, let's just see if this will fit like that. I kind of like the seven.
Okay, so we're going to leave it just like that. And now we're going to do what we normally do, and that's put translucent around it. Okay, so, you know I have translucent on me. Another color that is very soft, which I am so thankful for. And actually, that didn't turn out too bad with how soft that clay was. And this, I'm not going to put through the pasta machine. I'm just going to kind of roll it. But I'm going to clean all this yellow. It may have gotten stuck on here. Getting it to cooperate is something different. Okay, and then that's when I start squishing it. So we're going to need seven pieces, so that's going to be about 11 inches. I just stop there and think right there. Oh no, 11 inches, you're going to need 10 and a half, not 11. So on this, you just want a pointy top. Uh, not pointy enough. I could go farther down. The only thing with doing that is once you start getting these in between, you end up losing obviously a lot of space. Each one that you put in is going to make it tighter and tighter. I'll show you what I mean. See, as you kind of stretch it, this might be a little too big compared to the rest of them, so I'm going to just take off a little sliver there. Okay, so as you can see, as you push this over, it starts getting a little tighter. Do I need two more? It's a little taller than the other ones and a little smaller, so we're going to go off of this one right here. So big shout out again to Lucy Clay for the extruder 
that was given to me to give to you guys in the giveaway. So today is Sunday. We have one more week for everybody to comment on that post in order to put you in the giveaway for the box of cutters. So if you haven't commented on that video, do so so that you're included. Okay, see how this one just wants to, kind of wants to turn sideways there. So now I can come in here and see how it all nice squishes in there together. Uh oh, I don't like that one. We might have a problem on this one. Okay, so when you squish them, make sure you're squishing them down and not sideways or you'll get that. Okay, and this one, eh, he's pretty squishy. He's a little round down there, so. I don't know what the rest of it inside looks like, so I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so now the only thing left to do is to put a layer of translucent around the side. And the only reason... I put translucent and I think everybody else puts translucent around the side is if you leave it like that and you make your slices sometimes you're gonna slice a little bit of your flour off and so when you lay it out you're not gonna have a complete flour so by adding a little bit of translucent around the sides you're pretty much protecting you're protecting your flour from you Unless you can make awesome cuts. I can't. I can't even draw a straight line. And so this is just a little bit of added protection. I was thinking of making a couple quill flowers. And with those you don't want to cut it at all or put translucent you kind of want to just make each petal to the side that you want size that you want and then you just lay them all on top of each other and then you leave it alone i want to make a few of those so i may do that this week all right we're going to put it through one more but i think we're okay Okay, and this I'm putting at a zero, putting it at the thickest setting. But yet I'm still not able to go all the way around. So we're going to pull some of that off. Okay, so that's our bottom. Just gonna pull it as I go. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut a nice perfect line right in between both of them. And if this flower turns out and you guys like it, let me know. And I will put it up for sale. I'll probably keep one slice from it. Ah, I'm not going to worry about that. Alrighty, so I'm going to hit pause one more time. I'm going to go ahead and reduce this. Probably to about half an inch or three quarters of an inch. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we are back and ready to cut. So, first thing I'm going to do is cut the edge off here. And I'm not going to be impatient. I'm not going to peek. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut these all about two inches. 
four. Got a nice big cane here. Way too much for me to use. So if they turn out, I'll make them available. Just let me know you want them. And nope, I didn't even look at that one. I just want to try and get this a little longer. We can make one more. Just a little bit off the end. Alrighty, guys, you ready to see what it looks like? <laughs> this is always the worst and the best part. Alright, so we have our. Oh, that was a bad cut. And this is a little soft, so. Yeah, I cut with the. I guess I cut with the wrong side of the blade. So hold on a minute. Let me try that again with the right side of the blade all right so we have two flowers okay so the edges aren't as round as i would like them but it's a cute flower maybe if i cut a slice on something we might be able to see it a little better um, this is something that you should probably just sit for a little bit Ugh. That way you'll get a better view of what it looks like. But I've got a little bit of red here. So, let's go ahead and put it on the red. And we'll get a little better view of what it looks like. Got some paper. really sell my canes because I'm not always happy with them and I know that we're our worst enemies so maybe it looks good I see the flaws and that's always the hardest part so there's the flower kind of makeshift on the flower you can tell where I messed up by rubbing it in but anyways we have some flowers here so if you guys are interested in the flower, let me know and I will put some of these online. Unfortunately, you're not getting a really good image of them because I used the wrong side of the blade. And when I did that, okay, well, I'm going to keep this one. I kind of squished the flower. So there, there's a better view. And I probably should have kept with the six petals like I wanted. But anyways, there's our flower. I hope you guys like that. And if you want one, go ahead and let me know. And I'll throw them on the Me and the Mutts page. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.